Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Internet Cafe and a Supermarket Simulator. I actually have everything set up today to just open these. Never mind. No, I don't. I forgot. I restarted the game. I thought I did, but I was completely wrong. I thought we were just going to open up and have a good day going right away, but nope. I like to th keep things a little bit lower than just a little bit lower than expensive. Like, I like to keep it around 37 to 36 or so. Put that in automatic approval and whatnot. And I actually built up my money in just a little bit. And yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I saw I've convinced a few people to buy it by making these videos. And you know what? That makes me happy. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's a fun, relaxing game to play. But we're going to go actually to open. Did we turn on auto bill? I think we did. If not, that is not a problem. But we're gonna go ahead and buy a new area in the store today. And look at that, that is such a big area. I love how big the expansions are within this store. So much room for activities. But we are actually gonna be working on the fruit and veggie system today. I'm thinking about doing a whole tray for each fruit and each veggie but I'm not entirely sure. Now the problem is we need Walter. Hello, there you are. Hey, Walter, buddy, how's it going? We're gonna be moving a lot of stuff, Walter. I just noticed that you're all camo on your arms and stuff, that is pretty cool. But we're gonna be moving stuff around. So how many veggies do we have? We're gonna need to order a ton of veggies in the future, but that is fine. Now let's go over to here and go to wholesale. And we're on veggies, so three, six, nine, ten. So we'll need ten stands for the veggies. Now the way I'm doing this is each whole stance and get one product each, and that way I don't have to worry about it for a while. I'm not even. It's not even efficient. It's just the way I'm doing things. If you want to do something different, that is perfectly fine. But it's just the way I'm doing it for now, just to see how it looks and whatnot and i know i'm i'm far behind in what a lot of other people are doing but i'm playing at my own pace i'm enjoying the game and that's the one thing i tell people about these simulators is play to your own pace play it how you want to that is basically what a simulator is for and yeah like i said i just hope you're in, enjoying the game now we need to go down to supermarket shelves and fruits and veggies i like these shelves but these ones will probably make more sense if one full one gets a thing but oh well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and there we go that is 8400 8400 in veggie shelves alone oh my gosh i don't even know if we're gonna be able to fit everything in here with the way i want it it's gonna be a tight squeeze in some areas hey guys how you doing how you, you enjoying the computer system everything's full love to see oh never mind this one wasn't but love to see it uh, everybody over there thank you bob hope you have a fantastic fantastic day so hey walter buddy there you go we are gonna be using walter over here to get everything transferred over without hopefully hitting anybody while we do this and he can hold exactly 10 items so he can hold all my veggie trays which is very very nice i hope you guys are having a fantastic saturday as well i think i'm recording this the day before yeah to, my days are oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry walter <laughs> that was a great watch and walter run with all those i'm so sorry there we go uh yeah i get my days mixed up a little bit today is friday when i'm recording this but hope you guys are having a fantastic day uh, i need to visit uh monica over here hey monica i need some food please um let's see a couple coffees and then I like to do a pizza because the pizza is really good with fullness going to 85 and it only takes one moisturizer away. So it's actually probably one of the best combos is coffee and the pizza from what I've noticed. Uh, hey Walter, uh, go ahead and follow me, buddy. I can carry this one myself. Of course, we got these extra ones over here, but this is just to uh, kind of lay it out a little bit. So how am I going to do this? Now, obviously, like I always say, temporary situations here, but we're going to go like this, maybe. Go like that. And then the way I was doing this, thank you, Walter. I was kind of testing it over here how I kind of wanted it. Oh, excuse me, Walter. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Walter, come over here, please. You're kind of getting in the way. You look like something from SCP. I don't really know what the SCPs are. I just know it from like Markiplier and stuff, but that's exactly what you look like. We're actually going to go down. No, no, no. I want it over here. We'll just do it at this very edge right here. Walter, I told you to stay over here. Stay. Good, Walter. Good, Walter. All right. Going to get this one now and go like that. Let's see. Um, and you want it lined up. We want it to look neat. Ooh, that looks so good. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. You know what? That is not looking too, too bad over here. And the way I'm going to do it is, like I said, I'm going to be giving each thing its own shelf of nine. So that is the plan as of right now. So let's go ahead and get this stocked real quick and just see how everything's looking. Oh no, someone's stealing. Howie, what have you done? Oh, they got away though. I saw them running away. What the hell, Howie? Okay, we're about to come back anyways because I finished up the veggies. How he let somebody get away? How he are you good? Okay, so the pro I'm calling this the produce department. The produce department is underway. All the veggies are done. Look at this. I'm really liking how this is looking so far and it feels good. I it, it's kind of a waste of space having that middle part right there, but this just looks neater from when I was testing it out. I'll show you guys right here. If I go to here and uh, let me, nope, don't want to replenish that. We want to put you here. Uh, going to put you there. Oh, there's money over here because Howie did get somebody, but somebody didn't get away, unfortunately. Now, I did like that because if you go like this and try to do like down the middle, like uh, so, or if you go like this and then like this, see it just doesn't look as neat at least to me i mean if you want to do it that way you can go ahead and do it that way or do it your own way or however else you're playing your simulator but that's how i'm gonna be doing it so now we need to do fruits because fruits are gonna go back here as well then we gotta order a bunch of product and it's just a busy day inside the supermarket cafe so we got all that done we have four shelves over here still but how much fruit is there? Because we have not bought any fruit yet. So let's go to the wholesale market. Fruit, three, six, nine, 12, 13, 13. And I already got 10. No, I got four. Wow. I have no idea what I am saying right now. So we got to go over to here, supermarket shelves. And you know what? Just because of my basic math, not math right now. One, two, three, four. There we go. Seventy-five hundred dollars, and it is on the way. We're gonna get a uh, wow. <laughs> I had a malfunction just now. We're gonna get along with the topic of the day as well, and don't mind some of these topics. They will be completely random sometimes because I'm actually getting them off the website. I'm like, wow, that'd be something interesting to talk about. Do you think aliens exist on another planet or some other type of species on another planet? I know this topic can be touchy for some people, but I would like to think aliens do exist on another planet. Uh, let me put that right there. Because I would like to think that if there is another species out there in the universe, because the universe is so large and so fascinating to think about, I would like to think they're making better decisions than we are making as humans. And the crazy thing is, what if they're just like us, just on another planet? And it just, it's hard to wrap your mind around because they would only be considered aliens just because they're from a different planet. But to uh, but, but to them, we would be the aliens as well. It's something interesting to think about, but I would like to say, think there's a more advanced species out there, but they just can't get to us because of uh, how light years work and whatnot. Yeah, I've watched so many space videos. It's just, it's just crazy to think about. But let me know. Do you think uh, there might be a life out there in the universe and whatnot? I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, we're going to need Walter in a second. Walter, buddy, where are you? Oh, yeah, you're over there. Oh, we need the lights turned on. That's what we need. It is kind of dark in here. No, that should close the door. There we go. 
Oh, it looks so beautiful. I, I love my store. It's so nice. I think we have enough room for the stuff over here. Let's see. Uh, put this right there. And it's going to be a tight fit for now until I... Ooh. How do we do that? We had to go like that. So like line up with that. I mean, that could work. Let's try the other side as well. Uh, let's see right here. And there we go. And we're going to move you. We're moving the freezers over here for now. There we go. Oh, no, it's unreachable. Uh, let's see. Does that make anything unreachable? At least it tells you if it's unreachable. That's a good thing. And move you over. No, that's not unreachable. <laughs> it's a tight fit for now. I probably will end up moving the stuff over like here in the future. But for now, it's okay. Okay, so we ran into an issue because 13 is a bad number, especially when you're doing it this way. So I'm going to be ordering one more. Now what we're going to be doing, first we got to stock up this. So my shelves are running empty because of how much time I've spent trying to figure all of this out. Uh, there we go. Oh, almost 7,000 income. Very, very nice at the end of the day. 79. Oh, this needs uh, filled as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to order one extra fruit shelf. And we're going to be doing doubling up on the watermelons. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I used to work produce in a store and it was at a, a like one of those warehouse uh, stores or clubs and we would just order so many watermelons. I'm like, you know what? We'll just double up on the watermelons. Why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and order this stuff real quick. I already put it inside the computer. It's going to be $11,000 worth of fruit. I ordered 10 of each. Hey, Carl's, you know what? We're going to hire one more Carl. It's going to be triplets now. So let's go over to web browser home and be nope, not bills online employee. And we need one more Porter. There you go. Carl's you guys got a little bit more help. Oh, look at all that fruit. Damn. Okay. We got to go visit Monica because we are very hungry and no, we're just we're mostly thirsty, but I like to fill up on both, so just two of those, and we'll take one pizza, the same as usual. You have a good day, Monica. I'll see you later. <laughs> there are so many boxes over here, but Carl is getting to work, and I forgot I need to order one more shelf over here. So let's go over here, and the problem is I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to find it. Hopefully, I can keep an eye on it. Order that shelf. Order $840, and... <laughs> Oh man, like I said, this is probably not very efficient, but we're do we're running with it. And at least I had money to play with this episode. Hey Bob, thank you for the one thing on the pallet. Uh, where are you gonna drop it? Where are you gonna drop it? Right there. Ugh, I can get there. I can get it. There we go. Thank you, Bob. I'm much appreciated. Okay, let's go over here and is there gonna be enough room for the customers? This inch it closer. I don't think so. No, it's unreachable. Okay, we're gonna have to move this whole row down. Gotcha. And then we'll get everything stocked up. Alrighty. So that was a weird cut because I was working on my produce department and my episodic ataxia started really kicking in. And I was losing control of my coordination fingers and was not feeling good. I kept pressing the wrong keys and it was just turning very badly. So I had to do a cut, take a little bit of a break. But here is all the fruit. I have two watermelons, watermelon on the end caps of the fruit aisles. And then the rest is just like this. Like here's the melon, a pineapple, the bananas, all the round fruit kind of. Over here you got apples, you got oranges, you got kiwi, mango, pears, and all the good stuff. Now this is how it looks for now. And then with the uh, veggies, I went ahead and separate. That's kind of separated for now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Uh, let's go and fix that like right now, like like that. There we go. And for the veggies, I separated it into aisles just to make it look a little bit neater. And I think it's looking pretty fine. So I had to buy one more of these just to be able to make it into two like islands. That's what they're called. 
island so right here we got actually two things of potatoes going on over here so it's not looking too bad and i do like this i still have more ideas rolling around in my head about how i might want it to look in the future but for now this is just fine and dandy and we're actually making a lot of money because some of these items which we're, we're about to go ahead and paint this because we have the money to do so like the watermelon $62 for watermelon that is just crazy that I, I go up by 15% and as you can see the market price alone is $54 and that says we're making a profit of $47 per watermelon that is sold and I we it looks like we sold a couple okay I might end up lowering the prices in the future spoiler alert, we're gonna be having a sale coming up eventually but that goes for a lot uh 16 let's see eight five there's something else that went for a lot as well pineapple fifty dollars for pineapple this is some expensive things there are some things going wrong with the market that's all i gotta say but i wanted to kind of show you guys what the daily profit would be in a little bit because one of the daily profits actually was up to nine thousand, which was the highest i have had so far in this game it, when i added in the uh fruit and or veggies and well mainly the fruit so uh that's how much income i brought in the income is not going to be as or profit's not going to be as good today because we're spending some money to get some of this uh, decoration going on hey how you doing welcome to the part uh, well my as you can tell, tell us again it's a little difficult to speak because it's just what my attacks it does to me sometimes but it is a little bit better but uh yeah i was about to say welcome to the market i put these computers in a different spot as well instead of against the wall i'm gonna try it out i'm not entirely sure how it's gonna work only because when they steal they like to run over things and make a mess so i try to leave enough space between these two subs we're gonna see how it works it might not work out and we do need some lighting so we need one i think we need two more lights go to that real quick because i want to see how it looks at night i love the lighting uh let's see you'll go over here go over there go to abbey market and uh what are we looking for lamps uh two lights do we want any walls we could order partition walls and do separating of the departments in the future. That is an idea. So I didn't even really look at this. These are, these are walls that you can put up so I can separate the computer lab workstations or the internet cafe from the main market. That might be something we do in the future, but not right now. So let's go on and get, uh, we got those two lamps. Do we want any decorations? Are there any like produce decorations, bar exit? Nah uh let's see melting heart open now decorations oh we'll get the uh it looks like a pineapple pineapple decoration sure why not uh we'll do a wi-fi decoration yeah we don't want any bubbles nah i know there's more decorations coming tomorrow and i really can't wait for that update we're gonna be going over, over some of the stuff tomorrow during that update and i think that is good enough so let's go ahead and order that uh go back over here hey buddy how you doing enjoying yourself at the one smile at a time cafe market uh let's see so much material at least my material is easy to select because when i when i do those walls i might separate things depending on the area or make it different colors depending on the area we'll see oh look at that I love this wall. It looks so good inside my store with this wood flooring. I am so happy with how everything's looking. In the uh, Discord server for the game, some of the supermarkets have been looking fantastic too. I love seeing what other people do to the game and how theirs look completely different from mine. Ooh, we are out of cake. Gotta get that cake all stocked up. There we go. And that's all good. So my product should be here. Thank you, Bob. I know you can't hear me anymore because you already left. Uh, let's see. One, two. Uh, I like to put it in the center. Try to make it look as neat as possible. Walter's just over there chilling. Oh, we got a pineapple. And since this is the produce department, we're going to put the pineapple right there. Actually, let's put it like right in the center there. There we go. 
I wonder if that lights up with the lights. We're about to find out, I can tell you that much. Uh, another light. Man, everyone's in this town. It's just in a hurry. They're always running around. And one light right there. And then we got one more neon to open up. Over here, there's a Wi-Fi sign. Where are we going to put the Wi-Fi sign? Maybe like in this, maybe like right here. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, the, the lights are on, but those lights aren't on because I got to uh, reset the breaker. There we go. Ooh, it is looking so damn good. Although I can't tell if those neons are turned on because of the, uh, because of the, uh, lighting situation, but it's looking pretty good and I'm really happy with how everything is looking. Okay. So I just wanted to check because I was curious if they do light up the neon. It kind of does. It's not very bright and 8,400. So yeah, ever since I added in all the fruits, I wish I would have done it sooner, but like I said, I'm playing to my own pace. But it's been a lot better with the income, but neon, it kind of lights up. It's not very bright. Maybe when I add my walls, maybe the computer lab will just have nothing but neons. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's so bright over here, guys. Let me go ahead and get these back up one right there. Uh, it's so weird when you throw the lights too, because you bounce around uh, one right there. And we'll just leave the neons there for now. Give the give the store a little bit of a decoration. We unfortunately don't have a rating for our supermarket yet. I know that's supposed to be coming in the future. Our internet cafe is not doing too bad though. 3.51. You know what? I will take it. Not too bad. And what are we going over here? How are our comments looking? I don't know what affects the comments. I heard putting decorations and plants and stuff really make it better. But let's look at our comments. Oh, uh, computer performance is average. Suitable for occasional gaming. Three, three, four, three, four, four, five. Ooh, cashier service was prompt and no delays. That's because I have an automatic cashier. The price is reasonable and the service is pretty good. The computer can handle most games, but not the best. Hopefully in the future we can add in. Howie, what happened here? What the hell happened? Can we go one day without the customers? knocking down or trying to destroy my business but i was gonna say hopefully one day we can add there's added in where you can download games and stuff i know there's uh oh, there we go that should be good enough where's the money at okay i know somebody got knocked down by him no oh, there's money over here sure why not i'll take that money because i know if you go over here in the web browser internet speed is something that is under maintenance and will be coming eventually as well so i'm kind of curious what that will do but guys that is going to be wrapping it up today be sure to join the discord down below in the description really trying to grow an awesome community with you guys and would love to have you join the discord and as always thank you for the support and tomorrow is another big update for the game hopefully pending i don't know but if there is, you can expect a video on it. And until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in that next live stream and door video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.